Welcome back to The Deep Dive. Today, well, we're looking at a bit of a legend, aren't we? We really are. We're looking at the FX Impact air gun platform, specifically its latest evolution, the M4. Now, the original Impact from 2015 didn't just arrive, it basically rewrote the rulebook for air guns. It absolutely changed the game. Modularity, accuracy, it became the standard. So trying to improve on that is a tough job. You're essentially betting against your own legacy. It is. And what's interesting is how FX approached the M4. Their mission wasn't just, you know, to add features. Number. They tried to make it fundamentally stronger and stiffer. That was the primary goal. Right, because this platform is everywhere in the competition scene, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Top places, podiums all over. So to keep those top shooters winning, you need to remove every tiny bit of flex, every inconsistency. Stiffness is key at that level. Good. And for someone new coming to the M4, there's a lot of choice from the start. There is. You have the standard, the sniper, the extended, the compact model as well. Some even come with copper accents. And all ship protected. Yes, each one ships in a tailored hard case. That says a lot about the quality you should expect. Right, let's get into the detail. Where better to start than the trigger? That first point of contact, the absolute foundation. A bad trigger, oh, ruins everything. A good trigger builds confidence, and they've completely redesigned it here. They have totally redesigned. And here's where it gets really interesting for adaptability. They call it the FX Quick Set Trigger, QST, QST. Now think about this. Maybe you're out hunting one day. You need a sure, deliberate pull. Then the next day, you're at a target match in the field needing something super light. Two completely different worlds. Normally, that means pulling out tools, right? Tuning time. Exactly. Drilling and poking. Maybe swapping sears. It takes time. What FX realized is you can't afford that downtime, especially not quickly on the line or between stages. So the QST. The QST lets you change that entire trigger profile from that crisp combat feel to a standard FX profile or to a heavier hunter style, simply by adjusting a single external screw. One screw. One screw. It's incredibly fast. You can tailor the gun's feel in seconds. That's huge for versatility. Makes what used to be a tweak into just another tactical option. Precisely. And sticking with that interaction with the trigger. The trigger is one thing, but how the gun fits your hand. The stock. Any changes? Yes, the stock is new too. It's much more defined now. How so? It has a proper palm shelf. Your hand feels better seated. And a beaver tail backstrap. And these aren't just for looks. The shelf helps you get consistent finger placement on that new trigger. The beaver tail gives you a very secure hold. It helps you manage recoil or change position quickly. So it feels better. More control, more confidence. Makes sense. It all comes down to building that reputable foundation for the shot. Right, so we've got the super adaptable trigger. But none of that matters if the platform itself isn't solid, especially at the power levels we're talking about. Where did they focus to add that core strength, that rigidity? Correct, they focused directly on the back of the gun, the top section, the part where the scope mounts. Exactly, the new design is much thicker, noticeably stronger. It might sound like overkill, but adding that mass and firmness through the platform is vital. Why specifically? It damps tiny vibrations, any minute flex that happens when the gun cycles, especially under the high pressures needed for powerful shots. When you're shooting long range, those tiny movements kill accuracy. You need total stability. And that upper plate should directly benefit the scope mount, right? If the base moves, your zero is gone. Perfect connection there. Yes, because that plate is so rigid, the scope rail, which is actually a dovetail machined into the plate, is inherently stronger as well. 
Also, that dovetail section is longer now. It gives you more room to shift your scope back and forth for perfect eye relief. You can position it exactly where you need it. And I heard something about a dual dovetail system dedicated to long-range shooters. You did. You've got that super strong integrated 9 to 11 dovetail as the base. Right, and then, sitting on top of that, you get an adjustable, removable 30 MOA Picatinny dovetail. 30 MOA. Explain that a little. Sure. MOA means minutes of angle. A 30 MOA dovetail is basically canted slightly forward. It's built in with 30 minutes of elevation. Ah, so it compensates for bullet drop from the outset. Exactly. Your scope is already canted to help counteract gravity over long distances. That means you preserve more of your scope's internal adjustment range to fine-tune, rather than using it all just to reach an extreme distance. It's a big win for anyone pushing the limits. Right, changing gears a bit, let's talk about the engine of the gun, the regulator. Consistency is king here, but what's the big step forward with the new AMP regulator? I heard they changed the material too. Yes, the M4 now ships standard with their latest AMP regulator, and it contains a new arm piston. Arm. Okay, why an arm? Well, the arm gives you excellent durability and sealing properties especially under the constant high pressures these regulators manage. It's simply tougher in the long run, compared to, say, aluminum in this specific application. But the real performance gain is the faster refresh rate. Refresh rate means how quickly the regulator recovers and replaces the small burst of air that leaves with each shot. After you fire, it has to be immediately ready for the next shot at exactly the same pressure. Understood. A quicker refresh means less pressure drop between shots, especially if you're shooting rapidly, so better shot-to-shot -shot consistency. And this new regulator handles pressures up to 170 bar easily. Consistency, consistency. That seems to be the theme. Right, before we get to power figures, another potential consistency advisor. Magazines, especially high-capacity ones. A nightmare scenario in the middle of a competition. Yes, a nightmare. Oh, absolutely. A single feed issue can cost you everything. They've gone straight at that. The new high-cap magazines are made from a stronger material, so the housing itself is more robust. But the key is the redesigned internal mechanism. Smoother feeding. Exactly. It ensures the internal drum rotates freely, feeds consistently, even when it's full. Those high-cap magazines, sometimes slightly oversized, can cause problems in other designs. Relaxation under stress. Good to hear. So we've got this incredibly solid, adaptable and consistent platform. But the impact's fame also rests on its modularity, right? How much of that carries to the shooter who wants to tune? Oh, that core philosophy is absolutely intact. The M4 retains the famous caliber exchange system. And that wraps up our deep dive into the FX Impact M4, a platform that doesn't just refine the airgun world, it redefines it. Every detail, from its reinforced frame to its lightning-fast QST trigger and precision AMP regulator, is built around one idea. Total confidence through consistency. Whether you're chasing perfection on the range or precision in the field, the M4 stands as proof that innovation in air guns is very much alive. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you think of the new M4, or which FX platform you'd like us to feature next. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our next deep dives into the world's most advanced precision gear. Thanks for watching, and as always, shoot straight, stay consistent, and keep pushing limits.